Hey everybody and welcome back to the Mind Catchers channel. Today I'm going to share with you the Becca and Christy Teigen collection or palette. When you take the palette out, it is absolutely gorgeous. This palette from what I hear, what I saw on Twitter because I was watching like a hawk. I love me some Christy Teigen, love me some John Legend. Hey girl! I love this. This is beautiful. They said that she uh, basically took the colors that she uses in her home, her home decor, rose golds, pinks, things like that, and she used it in this palette. As a matter of fact, the palette looks like a pretty piece of tile. It is so gorgeous. And her uh, signature is there in rose gold. There's the name Becca. There are four shades inside of this palette. There are two highlighters, a bronzer, and a blush, a luminous blush. So very, very pretty. Everything is nice and reflective. I hope I'm not blinding you by that, but it's gorgeous. The little bronzer shade name is Malibu Soleil. The luminous blushes name is Hibiscus Bloom. The big highlighter here with the imprint of Becca in it, this one is called Beach Nectar. And the highlighter down here is called Rose Gold. People were saying that they may pass on the Chrissy and Becca palette because of the Jaclyn Hill palette and that they were similar. In my opinion, they are not similar. All right, let me show you why. This is the Jaclyn Hill collection. They have five shades inside of this palette, two of which are highlighters that are not necessarily uh, woman of color friendly. You had Champagne Pop that really... It, it can work for some of us, but for our darker skin tones, you really had to work with it. And then Prosecco Pop, which was, had a little bit more gold in it, goldish undertones in it. And I think that one worked out for women of color a little bit better. Then you had, uh, let me see here, I believe it was, yeah, two blushes. You had Rose Spritz and Pample Mousse. Pample Mousse worked out as a blush a little bit better on my skin tone than Rose Spritz. As you can see, Pample Mousse is the darker one. And then you have the Mineral Blush Amaretto that really did absolutely nothing for my skin tone. Okay, I used that, I think, as a eyeshadow at one point. In the Chrissy palette you have uh, the highlighter rose gold which a lot of us already love. If you have the regular rose gold highlighter you will know that it's a very nice highlighter. You also have the beach nectar which has like in my opinion it's kind of like a peachy gold. It really works out well. I do have it here on my cheek today. I did use it. You also have the blush. I did use it very, very lightly back there. And I said in this tutorial uh, for this makeup look that you possibly wouldn't see it. I didn't use it very heavily. I will go back in the palette and try it again. The blushes in both palettes, the hibiscus and the pample mousse are very close. I will say that uh, the Pampa Mousse is supposed to be a mineralized blush and the Hibiscus Bloom is, it doesn't say that it's a mineralized blush, it just says blush. So I, I think they're very, very close. They are very close. It seems to me like the Hibiscus may be a little lighter, a little bit lighter. But other than that, if you were looking, and I know a lot of people who follow me are women of color i would say if you don't have the jacqueline hill collection i think that you will like the chrissy collection a little bit better i think we can work with these colors a little bit better also with the uh chrissy palette they included a little booklet that tells you um, about the palette, tells you about her inspiration and everything. Uh, they go through each color. They also give you some recipes for the perfect look using different shades within that palette and some of the uh, Becca products that are already on the website and in stores. So they did give you three different looks that you can play around with. Also, a lot of people wanted to know was this bronzer that's inside of the palette one of the bronzers that recently came out in their Sunlip bronzer collection? And no, it is not. I have to read up and see if this is like exclusive to this palette. Will they be selling it like 
all by itself but with the sunlit bronzers that I received not too long ago it was not included uh, the one that's inside of the palette is called Malibu Soleil and these were the ones that came out recently I think it was about five of them none of them are Malibu Soleil so I'm believing it's just for this palette okay some other little tidbits the Becca and Chrissy palette is $46 with four shades inside. The Jacqueline palette was $52 with five shades inside. Um, you have two highlighters and the regular highlighters go for $38. So you have two of them in there. So you already uh, got, you already paid for the palette right there with the two highlighters. Then you have a blush, which is normally $34. The bronzers are also $38, and you have a bronzer there. So I feel like it is very much worth the money. So if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below. I'm going to try to get some side-by-side -side swatches. Don't hold me to it, but if I can get it done before this video goes up, it will be included in the video. If not, they will be on my blog. So check that out, okay? Cyber kisses, and talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.